Hey YouTubers, uh, my name is Bungu SBC. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who do not know me, uh, please do subscribe and yeah, like the video and comment down below next. Okay, so uh, please don't ask me where I'm sitting right now. This was the best place for the lighting, if you know what I mean. So um, today I'm going to be telling you a story um, of uh, Hosea and Gomer. Is it? Hosea and Gomer or okay let's just get back to it so um guys this is still the fun bible times and um I just love the story I love how um unconditional love won at the end and it showed us that God still does love his people yes guys I am a student of faith I believe faith grows and grows and grows yeah um so this story um is in the book of hosea ne? from chapter one and I, I i think it's until chapter three in the book of hosea so hosea is a prophet in the biblical times and he's the son of beria guys forgive me if i don't know how to pronounce these words but um i am zulu yeah south african yeah i'm zulu so some of the greek words and you know i don't know how to pronounce some of these words but we'll catch on yeah so um as i said uh um hosea is a prophet gomer happened to be the daughter of Diblaim, ne? and hosea was more like a porter am i saying this right guys yeah he was more like a porter the person who makes I don't know if I'm saying it right, but he was the person who makes your nice jars, your nice bowls of soup, you know, the, the people who make those things, who makes you a cup, who makes you, you know, all the dishes that you use today that you just think, oh no, those are made by someone, you know, like all the way in France. <coughs> we don't even know if they come from France. Okay. But yeah, Hosea was that guy. He was not only like a prophet of God, but he was also like the person who is like, who makes cups, nice jars to decorate your house, you know, your vase and yeah, those type of things, okay? So um, God tells him because he's a prophet at the end of the day, the the making of the vase and your cups and your bowl um he did that as trade but another profession that he had was being a prophet and then now as he was doing his thing you know like mixing up the dough and continuing you know like to build you know a bowl or a nice jar god speaks to him like boom yo son we need to talk okay so as they need to talk God tells like um Hosea that you know what I need you to take a wife ne? and Hosea's like sure dude no problem I can definitely do that I mean like I've been lonely for ages now like if you know what I mean like people are lonely out here you know when especially when you're Christian who is like a firm Christian yeah you try by all your might to be still a bit if you ever get to that point ne? so god is like yeah i need you to take a wife and he's like yo man sure thing i can do that <laughs> and god is like but i don't want you to just take any wife ne? <laughs> and this guy's like <laughs> wait what do you mean now huh and then god's like okay what i mean is this i need you to take gomer as you want and he's like go 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 who and god's like yeah go there and then he's like okay hold up now now i know you did not just say that to me and god's like yeah son i did just say that to you i need you to take gomer as your wife no i'm sure like people who have not read the bible or who don't know some of the stories in the bible don't know who gomer is gomer in the bible is regarded as 
you know, one of the boredom squad. Can I put it that way? I'm trying to not sway on YouTube, guys. Okay. So, yeah. Even in the Bible, they write it like that. Boredom. Gorak um, is more of, you know, the promiscuous type, you know, who's like, I'm gonna, like, you know, I'm gonna dabble around when it comes to men. Yeah. So, for those of you who do not know who Gome is, Gome is more of your promiscuous type, you know, if, if you understand what I mean. So, that's why Jose was like, hold up, you're telling me to take Gome? Like, you know the woman is untamable, okay? You know that. And God's like, dude, I am trying to preach gospel through you. I'm trying to bring salvation to people through your life and as he was like what by making me a demonstration an example of what you do if somebody double crosses you i think that's what went on in his mind even though he does not say that in the bible okay but like he's like hold on you want me to be an example of what happens to someone who crosses you and God is like, well, I don't know about examples, but I definitely need you to preach. And if we're going to have to make a demonstration through your life, let's get on with it. So, okay. He agrees to this. Okay, I'll do it. I'll take Gomer as my wife. And God's like, hold up. Now, before you go on out there abusing the poor child, you're not gonna abuse her. You're gonna treat her as a husband. You're gonna be loving. You're gonna be caring. You are gonna be the best. You're gonna be the husband of the world, if you know what I mean. Like, you're gonna be pampering. You're gonna be caring to her. You're gonna be a provider, okay? And I'm sure she was like, but how am I supposed to do this? while I'm keeping your oath because you know women who are like that have their own way and God is like you will keep my oath but you will also be the husband of husbands you know you will be the knight and shining ama okay so she, he goes ahead he marries Gome Gome um conceives and God keeps naming these kids like after a certain incident that has happened and he describes why he says he must name those kids i always tell people this be careful what you name your kids mm -hmm. don't go out there just naming them any name okay <laughs> so God keeps naming these kids after incidents and reminding Israel like because it wasn't the time of rebellion of the Israelite people and God was trying to preach the gospel to the people of Israel. I don't know if it, I should say salvation or the gospel but God was trying to bring back his people to himself and they just wouldn't come back and they went to Baal. Okay like <laughs> This ball has been causing havoc in my father's house for the longest of times. Okay? So, okay, fine. Now they are married and God keeps giving him these names for his kids. Now, let me just say this to all the women out there who have husbands and their husbands are like nerdy and they love God. You gotta pray for discernment, child. You, you, you got to really pray for discernment from God that God gives you a full picture of what Susan it is, okay? Because this is what happened with Gomer. Gomer was like a housewife, you know, and she was a housewife of a prophet who made good money, by the way, but you wouldn't see that he makes good money because he's a smart businessman. He would like spend what he needs to spend on taking care of the house and then after that the rest of it goes into savings okay now i'll tell you later how do i know that so 
um like most people thought she was sort of like middle class or like yeah not like on the poor side but back then if you were like middle class they just regarded you as poor yeah no? so um they conceive these kids and he keeps naming them after the, like the incidents that have been happening and then um god decides now like okay fine now let's take it to a whole other level and god sends hosea again to preach remember he's a prophet of god so he speaks the mind and heart of god when he gets to the place where they are preaching so he goes to the quarters where people are praying and stuff like that he preaches to them repent 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 for you know god is bringing justice to like to the world right now i need you to guys i need you guys to repent so that you may be saved when this happens and these people are just not hearing him okay they're just not hearing him at all and then like they are like why should we repent to your god i've had that i've had that question before guys like a lot of times where people go like girl you've been praying to this god since 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 and we're not seeing any results and I'm like, ha! Watch. Just keep watching. That's all I usually say. Um, but honestly speaking, God has been like pulling miracles, pulling stunts on my life, okay? So, same thing with Hosea. Like, God would be pulling stunts here and there, and people would be like, You're still poor. Because they didn't know that God has still been speaking to Hosea, God has still been providing for their home. And then Gomer goes, has the nerve to say, you know what? You're not taking care of me, dude. I need to be kept, if you know what I mean. So Gomer starts dating, okay? Because every time they went to the marketplace to sell these jars, I mean, like, he was a trader. Jose was a trader. He would trade his goods, you know, and they'd give him good money for it, and he'd still be able to maintain his household and stuff like that. So, um now because Gomer did not see what's happening with the income she would be like Ugh, this guy this guy is just not taking care of me okay so now eventually like she decides you know what I, 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 I'm going to get my life okay I'm just gonna get my life ne? so she gets her life okay ne? she starts dating and <laughs> the nerve of your sister yes you yes you your sister she is our sister in christ mm -hmm. the nerve of your sister your sister while she's dating she's not even hiding it okay she is not having it guys like she just goes out whenever she she pleases and when the husband asks her like my dear sweet wife where are you coming from? And she'll be like, I told you, you're not keeping me. Like, you're not doing the things, dude. You're not buying me them jewels. You're not like taking me to expensive, exotic places. So I decided to get myself a man. And not just a man, guys. She decided to get herself men. Okay, she decides to date like around as if she was still single. Okay, so she dates, she dates, she dates, she dates people, and then it's like, oh, okay, fine, girl, get your life. And Hosea's like, you know what, fine, I'm gonna let her go. And he prays to God, like, why? How could you? We both knew this was gonna hurt me, and you still let it happen. How could you? And God is like, be still chill okay chill now you know that divorce is like not an option for a man like Hosea because he was he was a man close to God's heart you know he was that one who was like I promise I'm gonna be an honorable man and I'm gonna keep my promise so they never got divorced but guess what happens so Gomer is now in some kind of a situation ne? I call it a situation not an entanglement and she's in some kind of a quarrel with the new lover with one of her lovers who's giving her more 
of the bag than the other lovers and the guy ends up selling her to slavery and as he ends up selling her to slavery you know like Hosea does not know this but he hears it remember people have been telling him like your God is not giving you anything good you've been praying and the only thing that is happening to you is that your wife is cheating on you okay you are poor your wife is cheating on you and you don't even know if the kids are yours dude it's not looking good for you for a man who's praying that's what people say so he hears the rumors like hey dude did you hear what the girl went and did I don't know she got in some kind of entanglement with some other guy but now she's in kind of a bind luckily she was not pregnant if others think I meant that no uh, she was sold to slavery and you know like and as she was there being auctioned in slavery because that's what they did in slavery they auctioned you like a cow okay so as she was there being auctioned like everybody was like ha! I am not bringing a curse to my house buying that woman unless if everybody has forgotten who she is and everybody like the elephant in the room at the auction was like so you guys are not gonna go ahead and tell us that all her kids are named after each and every incident that will befall this place and that has befallen this place you bring a curse onto your house whatever is going on with her mm -mm, i don't want to be there mm -mm. so as they did that like nobody wanted to buy her and then one person gets you know that Shibindi, nah? Let's just be the that 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 boldness to buy her, and he's going like, ah, I'll buy her, I'll buy her for like three hundred something, and you know they keep doing the bid of silver and barley, and this guy will be like, I'll buy her for two hundred bar for like uh, maybe half sack of a uh, of barley, guys, my currency knowledge of biblical times is silch but they were somewhere there silver barley i only remember what uh hosea offered because remember he's the shining you know he's the he, he's the knight in shining armor who came in with the right horse and stripped her away okay so this is what Hosea says as they are beating the other ones like I think maybe two people are still like fighting over her but they are also not that like keen to this so Hosea just comes along and says hold up I'm gonna finish this argument okay I'm gonna finish this argument and I'm gonna buy her for a half homer of Bali and 15 uh, 15 pieces of silver I think and then he's like nah let's double up the price i'm gonna buy her for a full sack of bali 15 pieces of silver and another half uh, sack of homer of bali if i'm saying that right jewish people forgive me if i'm not saying this right okay yeah and comment down below to just give me real facts ne? like yeah i'm only telling the story so that you guys can be appetized to go read the story mm -hmm. So Hosea comes there and like Gomer's like <laughs> everybody's jaw just drops as well. Like no, he did not. Child, I'm telling you, the man went back and bought his wife, his harlotting wife. That's what the Bible says. That she was a harlot. Yeah. The man went back and bought his wife. He's like, I'm getting back the mother of my kids. And I did keep the promise to God that I will be the world's best husband. So that's exactly what he did. Went back, bought his wife. Just like that. And people were astonished. Now, what does the story tell me? The story tells me that god has unconditional love for us because he shows that through christ he broke the bank when he brought christ into this mess okay and 
like also it was a definition to the people of israel like that's how much i love you guys that's how much i love you i love you so much that i will break the bank to make it happen that you guys come back home to me that you guys come back to the fullness of where i am so Hosea brought back his wife guys and they lived happily ever after i'd like to think so i hope she did not do some other stunt again yeah guys don't forget to subscribe like the video and also comment down below and i am sorry if some of these names were from your language i'm just not good at pronouncing things don't forget to pray bye